In today's video, we're talking about hyperthermia in the context of integrative cancer care. First, let's explain the word hyperthermia by breaking it down into hyper and thermia. Hyper simply means over or above, and thermia comes from the Greek word thermos or thermi, which means to heat or to warm. Hyperthermia in integrative cancer care is the use of heat to kill malignant cells through controlled thermal effects, as well as to sensitize other therapies while avoiding destruction of healthy cells. The use of heat for therapeutic purposes dates back to ancient times, but in the modern era of fever therapy, the use of heat in the treatment of cancer dates back to the 19th century through the work of Dr. William Coley, who's also known as the father of immunotherapy. In 1891, Dr. William Coley began injecting a mixture of streptococcal bacterial endotoxins in a patient population with advanced sarcomas, and what he noticed were very positive outcomes as well as, in some cases, a complete response. Through this artificial fever induction, he demonstrated the effectiveness for fever therapy in various malignant tumors. Since his discoveries, hyperthermia has become an independent science. At the turn of the 20th century, other heat-inducing therapies were developed, such as whole-body hyperthermia through hot baths, shortwave diathermy, ultrasound, infrared, and microwave technology. The use of hyperthermia is supported by an increasing number of studies, mainly as a support to cancer immunotherapy and chemotherapy, as well as to improve a direct tumor response through upregulation of the immune system. The majority of research focuses on the combination of chemotherapy with whole body hyperthermia. Specifically, clinical trials have found benefit through local tumor control as well as increased survival rates with combined therapy. So how does hyperthermia work? First, we must understand that fever is a complex neuroendocrine response that resets the thermal or temperature regulator within our hypothalamus to a higher level. This induces a fever, and that in turn will upregulate different chemical messengers within the body to stimulate a healthy immune response. As I mentioned before, hyperthermia is the use of infrared heat to kill malignant cells through the um, controlled thermal regulation to enhance immune function and to sensitize other therapies while avoiding destruction of our healthy cells. During a hyperthermia session, the tissues are gradually heated to between 40 and 43 degrees Celsius, which translates to 104 and 106 degrees Fahrenheit. This is done through the use of external heat sources to allow for a controlled increase in core body temperature. This causes a number of different processes to occur within the tissue. Firstly, it increases blood flow to the treatment area. This brings more immune cells to the tumor site and also increases the delivery of both chemotherapeutic and natural agents. Secondly, it impairs tumor angiogenesis. Tumor blood vessel growth is stimulated by a lack of oxygen. Heating tissue increases blood flow, therefore increases oxygenation. By doing so, we can inhibit new blood vessel growth, and this in turn will rid cancer cells of their nutrient supply. Thirdly, hyperthermia induces the production of heat shock proteins. Around 104 to 106 degrees Fahrenheit, cancer cells can produce compounds called heat shock proteins. These proteins can bind to the tumor and they are shuttled to the dendritic cells of our immune system, which are also called antigen presenting cells. When these cells are presented to the immune system, they induce cytotoxic T lymphocytes, which will stimulate and produce an adaptive immune response against the cancer cells which essentially can tag them for their destruction. And lastly, hyperthermia can increase cell membrane permeability. Heat can destabilize the cancer cell membranes, and what this allows for is better penetration of chemotherapeutic and natural agents into the cells. At Brio Medical, we utilize whole body hyperthermia under gentle supervised sedation as one of our core integrative therapies to bolster outcomes for our patient population. To learn more about hyperthermia and its use in integrative cancer care, please visit our website. Thank you so much for listening.